just a juggle from the pass from Brett Stewart. Ballin scampers in to oh. dummy half. Oh, you've locked his arm in. And he'll play the ball. This is Jamie Lyon. Now it's uh, Josh Perry. Good hit. Good hit by Jamie Peacock. Orford, looping pass. Oh, they're into it. They are really swinging. Peacock and Perry. There's no handbags amongst that lot, I'll tell you. It's still going. Oh, there's bullseyes in it. Perry and Peacock, the two number tens. We might need a boxing referee in a minute to counter ten. Well, Orford was throwing a long ball, and these two were throwing long punches. And they were connected. Now, I can't see any claret at the moment. Oh, that was silly from Peacock. He's no lover of Australians. Join the queue. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think Josh Perry was too impressed with the original tackle and had something to say. Well, he went after him, did Peacock. You could see at the elbow, and then he just uh, threw one. Tell you what, Perry hasn't missed yet. No. Yep. I'd have to give it on points to Perry. It's done all, mate. Carries on, yeah. He gets his breath back, and he's on again. That was a good one. Oh, what four two? You shouldn't be applauding that, Philip. We should be condemning it, but I know what you mean. This is to become world champions. Well, Jamie Peacock is going to have ten minutes to contemplate in the bin, I think. You've heard the report. It's been bad one along. It's not going to keep happening. Oh. He got the red out there and he said wrong yeah, colour, thank goodness for that. Going? Okay. Cool. Thanks, mate. Is he going, he said? Cool. <laughs> Maybe they'll meet on the sideline. <laughs> oh, listen. I know they call Matt Disking Disco, but isn't that something you say on the damn floor? Cool or something? I don't know, I'm way out of this these days, but he's joined him. That's good refereeing as well. Just calm things down a little bit. Two in the sin bin. The only man ever to be sent off in one of these events was a manly player. It was Ronnie Gibb, uh, Ron Gibbs way back in 1987. He almost when... decapitated John Leibnach, so that was how bad it was to be sent off, Eddie. Well, Jamie Peacock has picked up a couple of blows there, as you can see from the blood that's flowing from the top of his head. It's a penalty to Manly at the end of all that. Will they take the two? This will be interesting. Maybe Des Haslett will say we like to uh, calm things down a bit. No. Now, Let's apply the pressure. This is going to be a brave man who takes it in first up, isn't it? Oh, they line it up oh. way out on that left-hand side. It's Rose. Howard, Moose! They're still pushing and shoving round the ruck. There really is. That was Ballin, and here now is Rodney. Two, Moose! Oh. Ballin waits a dummy half again for Manley. He will find Matt Orford, the engineer-in-chief. What no? Important tackles all over there. Quick play the ball once more. They're over, I think. He is over, Brett Stewart. It's the first try to Manly. And Manly capitalise on the sin binning of Jamie Peacock and one of their players as well. But Brett Stewart gets over for the first try. He was 24 years of age on Friday. He is a prolific try scorer in the NRL. 92 tries in 112 appearances for Manly since 2003. And look at his record for last season as well. He's drawn first blood in the World Club Challenge. Well, he's not noted for scoring tries of this calibre. Normally, the 50, 60 metres downfield is such a talent from that fullback position, but he scrambled over like the best hooker in the world. Run from dummy half.